Yo, welcome to the channel. My name is Dissimilar. Black Ops 6 just launched, so of course I locked myself in for the weekend and I unlocked Diamond Camo on the Assault Rifles. This camo looks great in this game until you aim down sights. And as you can see, it gets so bright, you literally can't see anything at all and i got some gameplay so you can see me actually use this in action i actually do pretty decent with it luckily the like uh, enemies name tags still pop up so i can still track those but uh this is definitely an unintent well i would say most certainly an unintentional glitch with the diamond camo and i wanted to include a little discussion about this uh glitch in my diamond video up top because i don't really know what causes this glitch and i am not seeing much discussion online about it or any solutions for it so i wanted to create a space for that to happen if you know what causes this glitch please share it because i want to use diamond camo in my games i've noticed that this only happens on certain maps i think scud which unironically is the gameplay that i am sharing in this video i think scud is the worst map for this glitch it doesn't happen at all on low town which is one of my least favorite maps in the game right now uh, i tried switching up operators i don't think this glitch is tied to operators um i'm on xbox so i don't know if it's a platform dependent thing and maybe that's why people aren't talking about it i, I don't know this uh, i want to get some chatter and get some eyes on this just like i love to have my eyes on this diamond camo i mean glitch aside this camo is beautiful it is the og black ops 2 style diamond camo which i think is one of the best of all time and it has gold and diamond in it it's just designed perfectly Side note, I love the way the gold camo looks in this game. It has like the perfect orangey glow, the perfect like reflection and matteness to it. It looks sleek, looks great. And diamond obviously is diamond camo, but it uses that same gold camo it adds gold accents throughout your gun. And even the attachments will take the diamond camo. Like you have a diamond suppressor and a diamond optic. And like the magazine is mostly diamond, but then there's little gold accents on it. Like it, I just think it's perfectly balanced and looks absolutely great. Now, if you want to get your hands on it, good news is diamond in this game is extremely easy to get. The whole kind of path to unlock it is similar to previous CODs. What you have to do is unlock gold camo on all weapons within a class. And to unlock gold camo, you just have to get 100 headshots. That applies to a majority of the weapons. I know like launchers, you have to get up to 50 kills or score streak destructions with that launcher. But for most weapons, even the shotguns, you're going to be getting 100 headshots. Then you just have to complete two special challenges. For the XM4, I believe it's uh, 30 kills shortly after sprinting and 30 kills without taking damage there's also like get 50 kills while moving get 30 kills with particular perks they are from what i've seen so far they're all relatively easy and to make it even easier this year camos are not tied to weapon leveling you can progress all the camos without any limitations whatsoever as soon as you unlock the weapon you can start working on your gold camo grind I think most weapons in this game have a max level about 40 to 50 but theoretically you can just focus on getting headshots and unlock gold camo at weapon level 5 you don't have to level up to we'll say level 20 to unlock a certain camo challenge like everything is available from the get-go and i think that is a great change and is making camo grinding a breeze this year once you do have all those base camo challenges done, the gold challenge is to get 10 double kills, which is pretty easy. And then diamond, once you have gold on all the weapons in a class, uh, you'll have to get three kills without dying 10 times with each weapon. And then you'll unlock diamond camo independently. And that's it. It is really straightforward this year. Then once you have diamond camo unlocked for all weapons in the game, you can unlock spinal tap, which has a pretty, well, maybe not pretty easy, but you have to get three triple kills a certain amount of time. Uh, it might be a uh, hardcore uh, nuketown playlist. Once that comes out, might be the best way to get that. And then for dark matter, uh, you have to 
do something else. The, the challenge is on the screen, you can see. It's all pretty easy though. And then there's a whole nother progression system with zombies that is very similar. Uh, same amount of camos. And for the first time ever, Warzone will also have its own camo progression with its own mastery camos. So there's a lot of camos to unlock this year, but the grind to actually get them is slightly easier. But overall, I think this is an all around uh, great change for Black Ops 6. I absolutely love this system. I love the diamond camo and I am hooked onto this game trying to grind Prestige 10 as fast as I can and unlock all these camos. And uh, yeah, it all started with the XM4 diamond camo. That was my first diamond weapon. Curious to hear what you guys, if you guys got diamond camo, what was the first weapon you got diamond for? Or gold, or maybe you have dark matter already, you've been going ham. Let me know where you are at with your camo progression in the comments. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please tap that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Thank you so much for watching. My name's Similar, and I'll catch y'all on the next one.